together a video regarding how to hoist a roller furling jib. This jib's a little bit of a mess right now because uh, I dropped it down a couple days ago prior to the arrival of the tail of a hurricane and just stuck it down into the uh, to the forward hatch in the Vibra so it wasn't flaked or folded. So to get this seal going to go on to the frilling system here first thing I need to do is lay it out so it's uh, somewhat uh, neat and straight and in particular I need to get the left of the seal, the left edge up under the frilling system um, and uh, then I need to get the uh, jib sheets on and, uh, and we'll go from there to help the uh, help you stretch the sail out it can help if you get the tack attached to the furling drum and perhaps put the head on and then you can uh, pull the sail back a little more easily Okay, now let's flatten this out a little bit here. Okay, when you have the sail flaked out as good as uh, you can do it single handed, you want to be sure that the left, the front edge of the sail is all pulled forward. So that it's right under this is your feeder device here you want to make sure the left of the sail has been full, pulled forward so it's going to feed right up into the feeder with a lot of bends and creases in it that will help it go in quite a bit now this left tape has a bead in it and it's a certain size bead I believe this is a number six you've got to be sure that the bead is the proper size for your your furling extrusion so that the the sail will slide up nice and smoothly now to get this sail to raise smoothly there's uh, two ways you can handle it if you've got an extra crew member the crew member can sit in the bow pulpit ahead of the furling system and they can feed the sail into the extrusion by hand. Really all they need to do is keep pulling it forward like this. As the sail goes up, they just pull the sail forward so it's below the feeder and the sail will slide up. Second alternative is to use a little plastic device like this called a feeding device or a pea feeder. It goes over the the tape, the left tape, and then you go down to the furling drum and you tie it in place and uh, when the sail starts going up this furling device pulls the left to the towards the extrusion so that it it ends up underneath the furling system and slides into the feeder uh, the trick is to get get the unit at the right length um, so that uh, it feeds uh, smoothly that may take a, a little experimentation um, I'm gonna I'm gonna guesstimate here and if it doesn't feed smoothly we'll come forward and adjust it okay so we've got the pre feeder set uh, now we need to get the halyard ready whenever you go to put a halyard on a sail always look to the top of the mast Pull the halyard away from the forestay. Make sure that it's not wrapped around the forestay. You can see it coming right out of the mast. Halyard goes on to the swivel. Now we have to come back and shorten, raise the halyard about a foot or so. Here's our jib halyard. Open the stopper. Bring it up 
about a foot. It has to come up just enough to get the luff into the uh, feeder. Okay, here we can see it's not quite high enough. So let me see if I can slide that up. Maybe it will stay in. And go back and take that up. Okay, I've raised the halyard um, up about a foot or two so that the rough of the sail is a couple feet into the feeder. Now we're set to go. Again, you want the left pulled forward. Um, and now we're going to find out if the pre feeder is at the right length so this goes up smoothly. Back here, I've got the jib sheets all set and loose. So we're ready to put the sail up. When you get ready to rig the sail, you want to make sure that the feeder drum has the necessary turns on it before you put the sail on. Uh, here I have 30 turns or so. That's what the book recommends. And you want to make sure the turns go the right way. Now this sail has the UV material on the starboard side of the sail. And that means that my turns, when I put them on before the jib is positioned on the system, my turns are clockwise. And that way when I pull the furling line, the drum turns counterclockwise and it rolls up with the starboard side of the sail exposed. So you want to have the right number of turns before you start the system. When you're taking the turns in to start, make sure you keep a little pressure on the furling line so the turns tend to roll up smoothly on the drum. They don't roll up in one place when you're putting your, your initial turns on before the sail's put onto the furler. Those should be all set. That's the way they were set when I took the sail down. So let's start with the hoist now. Okay, I'm going to start taking the sail up. We'll see if it feeds smoothly. Seems to be going pretty well. It's a little heavy. I can give it some help with the winch. You don't, don't want to crank it real hard with the winch. If it's real hard, it's probably a sign that it's not feeding properly. So this, this is awfully heavy. So I'm going to go up and adjust the feeder. See if I can get a better angle. All right, let's try this. Made the feeder, the length of the feet is a little longer now. All right, let's see. It's feeding pretty well. I can see the feet are falling down as the material goes up. Once again, if it gets real hard, you don't want to put a lot of pressure. The jib should go up the left pretty smoothly. If it gets real hard to crank, stop, and go forward and adjust things. Okay, I put a little tension on the sail. We're all set. Now we can come back here and throw it up, and the job's done. As I throw it up, I want to keep a little tension on the sheet. Oh, actually, one thing I need to do before I throw the sail is I need to untie the pre feeder so it doesn't end up in the sail. Usually it falls off. There you go. But I'll just take it off so it'll be out of the way. Now we can continue with throwing the sail. Okay. Sail is furled. Now let's go check, make sure we have the right side of the sail out, or the correct side. 
which in case of this sail is starboard you look up here you can see that it's the sacrificial material on the outside we got a couple of turns and I think we're all set now one thing that I don't particularly like I can see that there's no turns left on the drum and I only have two turns around the sail so that would tell me I've lost a couple of turns while the sail was off and the wind was working on the system so I'm going to put those turns in now and the way that I, I do that is I'm going to bring the jib sheets forward so that I can manually turn the sail a couple of times to put the turns on and then I reset the jib sheet so I went back I freed up my jib sheets I brought them up here I manually rolled a couple of turns onto the furling system and then I retensioned my sheets and now I have a furling drum that has three spare turns we want the extra turns there because on a really windy day when we furl up the jib it will furl up really tightly and when it furls up really tightly it's going to need a few extra turns and on a really windy day if you don't have those extra turns from a day like today you won't be able to get the jib entirely furled so you want a few spare turns when you've got your all, sail all set to give you extra turns for a really windy day so I think now we are all set the system's all set I've got extra turns um, we're all set to go sailing uh, I just need to uh, release some pressure on the jib halyard and I'm going to leave the system for today unfortunately we won't be sailing until tomorrow